That's very kind. Very kind. Welcome, welcome, one and all. Hello, it's Odd One In, the show where you have to spot the authentic article in a lineup of liars. Let's meet our celebrity teams. Say hi to the home team. It's Jason Manford and Peter Andre. <laughs> yes, oh, yes. Thank you. And on the away team tonight, it's Lorraine Kelly and Joe Swash. <laughs> We'll see, we'll see. Now then, you've been on the show before. Yep. You know what it's all about. Yep. Did you win last time or lose? Uh, I may have lost. You might have lost. Uh -huh. How did you get on, Joe? Um, I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, I think we're going to be fine today. We are going to be yeah. fine. We're like a dream team. Good luck to you guys. Thank Thank you. Oh, it's lovely to see you. Give them a round of applause. That's the <laughs> rain and show. <laughs> <laughs> Me and Joe, we're, we're like... Hey, look at me like that, Peter. It's on. It's on. Ready to play? Yes. The studio audience, you ready? Yeah. yeah! Right, everyone at home, let's play Odd One In. Yeah. Come on, Lorraine, let's kick some butt in. First of all, let's say good day to our first lineup. Yes, indeed. One of our guys is a real Australian. The rest are putting on an accent. Introduce yourself, guys, please. Number one. Okay, guys, I'm Mikko. I'm the real Australian. <laughs> real Australian. Number two. Good day, mate. I'm Brian. I'm the real Australian. Oh. <laughs> Number three. Good day, guys. My name's Davo. <laughs> and I'm the real Australian. Davo. Number four. Good day, guys. I'm Amo, and I'm the real Australian. Ah, oh, she sounds very you Australian. You see, you see. <laughs> Number five, please. Good day, I'm Tomo, and I'm the real Australian. <laughs> <laughs> All right, teams, what are your thoughts, please? If we threw a, a cricket ball at each one of them, whichever dropped it, that's the real Australian. Oh, yeah. right, you see, now I'm going to stick up. OK, let's ask some, yeah. ask some questions. I'm going to ask number ask three. Yeah. What's the main spider you find in Australian homes? Yeah, probably the uh, Black Widow. No, that's the American, black dude. Widow. But... <laughs> yeah. That's the Australian Black Widow. <laughs> Just... oh, that's not him, is it? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> Could I ask number two? Because you look like, like Rolf Harris's big brother, doesn't it? Really does. Does. So, do you know the lyrics to Time You Can Do Down? Uh, well, um, I know it begins. Timey kangaroo down, spunt. Timey kangaroo down. That's pretty good. I see that um, number number one and number five. Yeah. You both got flip flops on. Yeah, they call them something different in yeah, Australia. Yeah, they call them thongs they? in Australia. Oh. Yeah. Oh. 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 I've been thinking of that question for ages. I'm sorry about that. I'm Number four, from... whereabouts are you from in Australia? I'm actually from a little place called Banoa. Banoa? Do you know her? Oh yeah. Do I know her? <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. Pete, are you from Banoa? You're yes. from Banoa. Yeah. I'm from there. Actually, your photos are everywhere. They're proud um, of you. Yeah, wanted, dead or alive. <laughs> <laughs> Number one, do you know what a one pot screamer is? Of course I do. Tell me then. There are Sheila who can't uh, can't hold her drink and she's uh, okay. she's all over Ooh. the shop one, oh. after one drink. Ooh. He knew, he knew. I don't, that, what is so that? That's good. It's a one pot screamer. Somebody that can't hold a drink, you just have one one drink and you start screaming. Did you? Oh, that's did you know that, Pete? No, I did. I'll tell you what. I'm not even sure you're Australian. Right, I'll tell you what we do. <laughs> Number one, ask him a question. Go on. Two, Let's see if you're question. genuinely on, Australian. Ask him a question. Go on. All right, Pete. What's uh, what's the big star underneath the Union Jack mean? On the flag. <laughs> <laughs> Are you trying to? Are you trying to find out if I'm Australian? I don't get it. Look, it's me, all right. I'm... I don't think you are now. <laughs> <laughs> we got, we got, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's pretty good though. Number one, like he number, is. number four is very good as well. Yeah, she yeah, sounds she, very she, Australian. Number four she looks is. like one of the Minogue sisters. Who are you ruling out? Who are you well, ruling out? I oh, think I your one at the end yeah. really looks the part, doesn't he? Yeah. But I just don't buy it. I think no, he might go just... surfing down the Thames. I think, <laughs> I think he might be a, a British boy. Yes. Yeah. Right, it is time to lock in your answers now. Right. What do you think? I think, I think he's definitely... I think... I, think, I, think, I, don't, I don't know. Think. Because number one is really good. <laughs> I 
Oh, now oh, the away see. team have put number one. Yes. Home team have put number four. Who in the audience thinks it's number one? Yeah. Right now, who thinks it's number four? Yeah. Right, all of the audience are going with the home team. Lorraine now looks oh, a bit. Dear. Oh, 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 dear. Right now. <laughs> Time to reel <laughs> the odd one in. Come on, one. It's got to be four. Oh, it's got to be. Is it wrong? Just give me the look, just give me the eyes. I think it's wrong. Go on. I think it's wrong. <laughs> no. Come on, one. Yeah! Wow, that is awesome. Yeah, great Australian. stuff. The real Australian is Mikko Bush from Melbourne. Give it up for Mikko. Yeah. Yeah. Well played, the away team, 1-0. OK, number two, what's your name? Where are you from? I'm Brian, and I'm from Birmingham. Brian from <laughs> Birmingham. Number three. My name's David and I'm from Guildford in Surrey. His yeah. accent didn't change! <laughs> he still had the same accent! <laughs> Number four. My name's Amy, I'm from Essex. Wow! Oh. Oh. I can't believe that. <laughs> Number five. My name's Tommy and I'm from Kent. Well done, Tommy. Really fantastic. Well done, mate. Give it up for everyone there. You are. Give a round of applause as you go off. Thank you, Nico. Thank you, Brian, David, Amy and Tomo. Thank you so much. All right, it's 1-0 to the away team. Right, everyone, give me an L. L. Give me an I. I. Give me a line-up. Thank you very much. Now, one of these people is a real cheerleader. The rest are pulling your pom-poms. <laughs> Guys, introduce yourselves. Number one. I'm Chelsea, and I'm the real cheerleader. Thank you. Number two. Nice I'm Jake, and I'm the real cheerleader. I'm Jake, I'm the real cheerleader. <laughs> <laughs> Number three. I'm Jem, and I'm the real cheerleader. Thank you. Number four. I'm Norma, and I'm the real cheerleader. Ah, OK. Teams, what do you think? Do you know, I really hope it is Norma, cos she's <laughs> waving those pom-poms yeah. for the more mature women, and I'm very much in favour of that. And thank you. You were cheerleader of, yeah. like, a bowls team or something? <laughs> <laughs> what are you a cheerleader for? It's the pig and whistle, and it's a darts team in Liverpool. Oh, dear, right. <laughs> <laughs> Number two, when did you realise you weren't very good at sports? Around <laughs> <laughs> uh, right about six years ago. Are you the base of the pyramid? Yeah. Or are you... Yeah, OK. And how many is there of you in your uh, team? There's about 26. How many is on the bottom row of this pyramid? 20 of them. 20? 20? That's huge! <laughs> 20! <laughs> Doesn't add up. <laughs> it's a 20 base, <laughs> a 20 person base pyramid, uh -huh. and then six people just stood on top of them. It's a hell of a, it's a, hell of a secure pyramid. <laughs> <laughs> it's not you then. <laughs> have, have each of you got signature moves? They do have signature okay. moves. You want to do it? Yeah, all right, all right. right. Well, yeah. Super smashing, super great. Who's the team we really rate? Pig and whistle! Love it! <laughs> Number three, go ahead. Give me an L, give me an O, give me an R. Give me the rest of the letters. What does it spell? Lorraine Kelly! Oh, oh my God! Very good, yeah, very good. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Very good. Okay. I do, yeah. 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 <laughs> Number one. Oh, 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 keep you Number one. P-E-T-E-R. Come back to mind. I don't live far. Oh, 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 o
So, which way are you leaning? Which way are you leaning? I want Norma to be it. I really do, but I'm not sure what you No one her. looks like a cheerleader. She does, she's gorgeous. Number four story is very believable in the fact that darts is so huge at the moment. Yes. Number two, you know, he... he could, oh, it's not number two, I promise you I that. I think number one. Oh, I, I was so convinced. I, I promise you that. I just... I don't know, I don't know. Teams, please lock in your answers now. So, so, you so we are finished on number one. So, away team have gone for number four, one nil in the lead at the moment. Home team have gone for number one. Can they catch up? What if it's number two? If it's number two, I'm going home. <laughs> <laughs> well, I bet. I just... All Here bets we go. are off if it's number two. <laughs> Let's find out, because it is time to reveal the odd one in. Come on, Nora! Come on! Norma. Norma, Norma. sorry! <laughs> It was Jake Barnard yeah. uh, from the Sussex team. It's my perk in there. And we'll say goodbye to the others. Guys, thank you. Thanks, girls. How long have you been cheerleading, mate? About six years. Yeah, and you've won... How many competitions have you won? Uh, too many. Too many. <laughs> You're going to do it for us? Going to perform? Excellent. Go and get yourself ready. Put it there, Jake. That Jake, was unbelievable. Jake, Jake, Jake. Team scores no points during that round. Still 1 0 to the away team. More wacky lineups in a minute. Time for a break. We'll see you then. But right now, it's Jake and the Sussex Tornadoes. Woo! Get it up! <laughs> Welcome back to Odd One In, the show where you have to select the special one in a parade of pretenders. The score is the way team have one and the home team have nil. Let's bring on the next lineup. <laughs> one of these people is a Bollywood star, the rest are <laughs> film fakes. Lineup. Please introduce yourself. Number one. Hi, I'm Rubina, and I'm the real Bollywood star. Number two. I'm Nada. I'm the real Bollywood star. <laughs> ah. Number three. Hi, I am Manjit Bambara. I'm the real Bollywood star. Number four. My name's Daniel. I'm the real Bollywood star. <laughs> Teams, right, questions, go. Um, number four, where did you make your movie? In Mumbai. In Whereabouts India. did you make it? Mumbai. Uh huh, but what, what area of Mumbai can you remember? City centre, generally. <laughs> Just the <a> city centre. <laughs> Just the <a> city centre. <laughs> number three, are you in the big numbers, big singing and dance numbers? Yes, I'm the Bolivar dancer. Are you a dancer? Oh. Um, okay. Could you strike a pose? Yes. Could you? He's wearing nice shoes, so. Oh, that's very good. Yeah. <laughs> that's very good. <laughs> No bad at all. Number three, do you just dance in the Bollywood films or, or do you do a bit of acting as well? No, we just do a dance. Okay. And, yeah. how, and how many is it of you? Have you? What's the biggest number of people you've got at the bottom? Twenty at the bottom. Four at the top. Exactly. I'm so the same thing. Sometimes it's more than 100, depending oh. on the set. Number two, just a question for you. What, what are you, like a James Bond or something? Yeah. The names. Nada Bond. Nada Bond? Yeah. Will you show us, a, show us a few moves, maybe James Bond moves or Nada Bond? Yeah. yeah. Hey, what you would do as James Bond? Ooh. 
Number one, what do, what do you do, number one? What is your role? I am a stunt actress in Bollywood. I do I it for the actresses. That. What sort of famous actresses in, in Bollywood have you, have you played? Uh, some of the big names are like uh, Sonam Kapoor, right. um, yeah. in Delphi. Um, yeah. And are you, are you um, is there somebody you're a stunt double for or...? Several. I'm quite, yeah, busy with have you ever... different actresses, different films. Can you do a move for us, please? Do you yeah. want... Oh, yeah. Oh. Have you ever stunt doubled for number two? <laughs> <laughs> so, number two, if you, if you was once the, uh, the Bollywood version of James Bond, have you gone on to do other work and other films? Was it just a one-hit wonder? It's hit films th uh, three. Three movies are hit. Three movies. Yeah, I, I don't believe him, though. No, anyway. I don't either. No, I, I don't You know what? I'm believing number one. She, she's the one that's more like the part. Great attitude, hasn't she? Number three's not wearing any shoes, so he could definitely... I loved number three's moves. ...prepared for a performance. Number three's got the Do you know what I mean? He Maybe. Can... Number four is so unlikely, and this show is so twisted. But then the last <laughs> one... <laughs> could be number four. OK, teams, lock in your answers now. <laughs> He can't be changed. Away team have put number two. Home team have chosen number four. Why did you put number four? That woman over there said four, and she got it right last two times. So it's on you, this. <laughs> Away team. He just so doesn't look like James Bond. Yeah. He so, so doesn't. OK. Therefore, it you, could be. Get what you're doing there now, the double bluff. Time to discover the Bollywood free, from the it? Bollywoodants. Let's reveal the odd one in. Oh. Oh, I'll get this. Got Come on, Lai. Could be, you know. Come on, sir. Oh, but, no. But no. Got last shoes. I know, I thought that. Oh, no. And also, we could Please. see a little show. Oh, no. I know you mean. Yeah. <laughs> Wrong. Please, big hand. It's Manjit Bambra. Come on, Manjit. Over here. Yeah. Well done, Manjit. And the boy to the others. Give all the others a round of applause. See you guys. Thank you very much. Great to see you, Manjit. Okay. Tell the guys one of the biggest British films you've been in. Bend it like Beckham. Bend it like Beckham. All right. You're going to perform for us, aren't you? Yes. Excellent. Yes. Thank you very much. All right. Well, we'll be back with more confusing lineups, Lorraine, in a second. But right now, let's have a bit of Bollywood magic. It's Manjit Bambra from London. <laughs> Thank you very much, everyone, and welcome back to Odd One In. The score is still 1 0 to the away team, doing very well. Let's bring on the next lineup. Right, now, this is one of these items that's a bit weird, and I love it. One of these people is a world record holder. They can fit 400 drinking straws in their mouth. <laughs> the other four just suck. <laughs> this is what 400 drinking straws oh looks my like. God. No. Give it a go, Bradders. No. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> OK, that is what 400 straws look like, and they can fit that in their mouth. Line up, please introduce yourself. Number one. 
Hi, I'm Lee, and I can fit 400 drinking straws in my mouth. <gasps> number two. Hi, my name's Victoria, and I can fit 400 straws in my mouth. Oh, number three. <laughs> Hi, I'm Patrick, and I can fit 400 straws in my mouth. Hi, I'm Simon, and I can fit 400 straws in yeah. my Ooh, mouth. Yeah. Yeah. Mouth, Hi, I'm Alex, and I can fit 400 straws in my mouth. Ooh. Ooh. Looking at the size of gobs, yeah. number one's got a big mouth, N no disrespect. Number and <laughs> number four. So, number two, how did you start? I don't know, man. It was, I work in a bar, and um, the boys are always having a crack. I'm the only female working in the bar. Every now and again, we kind of have a bit of a night where we're trying to coax each other on to do something. <laughs> we started off with a few, and then it went on for a few more. It's like, not really sore. There's pleasure and pain. <laughs> <laughs> number three, what well, you do like a kid's party or something? You went, right, paper plates, napkins. Oh, I forgot the straws, and I've used all my hands. <laughs> what happened? And you just thought, I got them, put them in there, here I like. <laughs> Not quite. It was, it was basically just a drunken night at university. My oh. mate dared me to see how many what's it's I could get in my mouth. How many did you get in? Oh, four packets of what's it's in. And then the next time we were out, we were in a bar, and he challenged me to do it drinking straws. At university, what did you study? I did English. James. And what did you get? Two of them. Imagine you wouldn't have messed around with all those straws and stuff mm. like that. You'd have got first, then. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Teams, just to show you, thank you. That is what 400 straws looks like. Oh, my Lord. Right. Use... <laughs> the person, the person mm. who can put those in their mouth yeah. is the Guinness World Record holder. <laughs> She's having a go. <laughs> <laughs> Number one, what's your infatuation with straws? Just a drunken stunt down the pub after the football. Started off with 50, and Dina just carried on from there. When did you realise it was a world record? We just Googled it, and then we see that someone had actually done 259. And so I thought, right, yeah, I'm going to do 360 first time. Yeah. So and when you got to 400. When you got to 399, did you just say, this is the final straw? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, sometimes, on, Jason, sometimes. Come on, brother. Number five. When you do it, do you pop it all in at once? Absolutely. Or do you put one at a time? No, no, all at once. As no, a, you as can't, a no, you can't do you that. Didn't. That's how you do it. I don't believe no, you. No, I don't believe you. Couldn't, you couldn't that get is... all right. That is, that is exactly how it's done. What? No way. That so is... you, you have to put the whole lot in? That is exactly how it's done. <laughs> Number four, how did you start? How did you start off with this straw malarkey? Well, uh, I was actually in a hotel room, and I thought I'd like to do something extraordinary. <laughs> there was 400 straws in this hotel room? No. <laughs> Did you oh, have to no. ring up room service and say, uh, <laughs> Oh, did you keep your hair ring up? Can you make me some more straws, Lee? <laughs> 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 Well, listen, the suspense is obviously killing you yeah. and everyone else. Teams, time to lock in your answers now. Yeah, you sure? I like number two's expression. Yeah. I love it. Right. We're going two. Number two is pretty good. <laughs> All right, OK, so it is still 1 0 at the moment. <laughs> Yep. Can the home team draw level, or can the away team go a further point in front to go to 2-0? The away team have put number two, and the home team have put number four. OK, let's put you out of your misery. It's time to reveal the odd one in. Do you not give us nothing here with number three? Come on, number two. Me, it's number one now. Go on, number two! <laughs> Are you lying, ain't you? Number one. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> it was indeed Simon Elmore from Ireland. Come on, Simon, come and join me in a round of applause. Thank you. Nice to see you, mate. Give the others a round of applause as they go off. There you go. We know that the world record at the moment stands at 400. Yes. And you're going to do something for us tonight and go for 405. <laughs> there they are. Can I count them? <laughs> Counted and verified. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. 405 straws. Simon, are you ready? I am ready. Good luck. Thank it's you very much. Over to you. Oh, my Lord. <sighs> oh! oh. Oh, 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 oh. Get in there, lad. Get in there. <laughs> Get in there. <laughs> 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 
Well done. Thank Fantastic. You very much. Simon Elmore for Mario. Thank you very much indeed. Time now for a final round, teams. It's all to play for. It's called Familiar Faces. Double points on offer, remember, please bring on the lineup. <laughs> Right, now, I blow know. me. One of these people is a trombone player. The rest are not. Teams, initial thoughts. This is a final observation round. I think Baby Rolf is holding it as if he knows what he, to do with mm. it. Does Number two looks like he's got all get up as well. He looks the part. OK, home yeah, team, what do you think? Could be number one, maybe. Why don't we see them <laughs> in action? Only one of them will be playing. The rest will be faking it. Are you ready? Get ready, number six, on my mark. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> Ready, number five. Here we go. On my mark, get ready. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> <laughs> Number four, get ready, on my mark. Three, two, one, go. Oh, he was good. He was good. Get ready, number three. <laughs> three, two, one, go. What's your little cheeks going on? <gasps> Ooh! OK, number two, go. Okay, number one. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> now, teams, get ready. Lock in your answers now. Don't make it. Controversial. You have gone four. for number four. You've put two. Hmm, OK. Interesting. It's one all at the moment, isn't it? Uh -huh. yeah. It's this to decide, uh -huh. providing at least one of you have got it right. Mm. You may have both got it wrong, mm. still, it could end up a draw. Yeah. It's time to reveal oh the odd one in. Come on. Oh. His, his eyes are going... It may be. It may be. It may be. Yeah, I picked two because he kept licking his lips. Oh, it's because he fancies you. <laughs> he, he's a professional. He's a professional. Patrick Johns, everyone. Come on, Patrick, come and join me. Um, Great to see you, mate. All right. Thank everyone else. Thank you so much for being with us tonight. There you are. Thank you. Cheers, Amy. God bless you. Patrick, thanks for coming along. And you're going to perform for us at the end of the show, aren't That's you? That's right, yeah. All right, mate. Lovely to see you. Thanks a lot. Go and get yourself ready. There you are. Patrick Johns, everyone. Thank you. really struggling, man. Can't believe it, you threw it away in the final hurdle. Unbelievable. Yes, final scores are, of course, it was double points for that round. 3 oh, 1 double. to the away team. Hey. That's how they give it away. 3 hey. 1 to the away team. Hey. That's it for tonight. My thanks to Lorraine and Joe, Jason and Peter. Big thanks to all our guests. And playing us out, it's Patrick Johns and Oompa Brass. Please, I'll see you next time on Odd One In. Thanks for watching. Good night. God bless. See ya. <laughs>
More magicians line up in front of Penn and Teller next this evening, but will there be any fooling tonight? Later, Dermot's joined by Jimmy Carr, Corrie's Catherine Kelly and Jack D. And there's definitely magic in the air, as we'll see at 10 in The Marriage Ref.